So, all I want you to do is go. Well! No! No! Well! Josh here! Yo! No! <laughs> Give me that! Well! Bully here! And it is. What are we doing, Lily? Pine Martin. Pine Martins! Pine Taking Lily up the trap of Pine Martin! And not kill it. Lots of people said, are we going to kill them? Do you believe that? No, it's for sciencey things. Stay tuned. Martin, while it's still awake, it's quiet as possible. So if you want to talk, you have to use our whispers, yeah?
That's only 1.25 kilograms. So pine martens, the females are always much smaller than the males. So your big, big males, they can go up to about 2 kilograms. And from their tail to their nose can be almost about a metre. The females, they can be just be a little bit shorter, so maybe about 80 centimetres in total. But they won't ever get much more than a kilogram of pine. So it's really important when we're sedating animals that we monitor their heart rate and their body temperature because the medicine we use can cause these to drop. So one of the ways we do that is very simply take our hand and place it under the bottom of the chest. So if you give me a hand, round here, place it under there. Oh, all the way under, so you have to get under the chest there. there. Can you feel that beat really, really fast? And so if it's been one with a pine martin because they're small and they have really high metabolic rates, they have a really fast heartbeat. So if you can count the beats, it's too slow. But if it's really fast and strong like this, it's really good. I can't count. Yeah, it's place. It's very fast, fast, isn't it? So that means she's good and strong and she's stable at the minute. So another thing we'll do is check her temperature. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. so fast. Do you want me to have a look at her teeth? pine martens is by looking at their teeth and looking at teeth wear. So you see on this pine martin, her teeth are pretty white. There's a little bit of discoloration, so a little bit brown, but we also look for any signs of chipping or damage. But because this pine martin's teeth, especially the incisors here at the back and the premolars, they're golden white. And the canines, these big ones at the front that are used for slicing, these aren't chipped at all. So she's probably quite a young pine martin, only a few years old. Just like you. That's what made my sister go vegetarian. I kept telling her that her toys were made from the fur of our pet rabbits and she stopped eating meat at about the age of eight. Those sorts of parasites will aggregate in certain areas, and those are areas where you've got really thin skin and really easy access to the blood. So if on pine martens, this is typically on the ears. So if you have a look in here, yeah, you've got a couple in there. I think there's one right down in the bottom there. That's Can you see that? Just at the end of my thumb? That's quite a small one. And then there's another one, oh, a little bit bigger, just there. I think there's another one just in there. Is there? So we'll get, we'll get these guys off. There might be some more on the back as well. They're pretty sedated so they can move around but they're not going to be aggressive anymore. So the first thing we do is lay her out nice and flat. And then, so with these, you see how they've got numbers on them? Measurement is you're going to hold the head straight and then you're going to open these up. And you're going to place this at the back of the head, so this back tooth at the back of the head, and then you're going to make this smaller until you get to the snap. And then you can take it off and you can see what your measurement is. Okay. You can put long bottom bottom down in there. So 
you want to make that. You see this against the back of the head, and then just shorten this side until you're against the nose. There you go. Then you lift it off, and how, how long is the head? Very good. So another measurement we take, uh, we've got a fancy name for it, but it's basically just head width. And that's quite interesting in mammals because the wider your head, normally the more dominant or bold an animal you are. So you're going to do the same thing with the calipers, but you're just going to go from ear, ear to ear. Very good. She's blanking. Yes, I can. She's blanking. So you're going to close that until you're against the side of the head. There. And then you're going to lift up off. And what's that? again an age but you're going to measure the length of the canine so you're going to go from the top there just to the bottom so you're going to want them in quite small because it's going to be pretty pretty small so just around there to there and then you're going to try and line it up with the top there you go and then you're going to shorten it so it goes to the bottom of that tooth there you go what measurements that it'll be quite small it's like half a centimeter very good well done. So they're just three of the basic measurements we take. She's still not coming around So finally what we'll do is we'll look at being a boy or a girl if you're a pine martin and how we tell. So there you go. So with the girl pine martins, once they're about a year and a half, two years old, they'll start reproducing and once they've reproduced, you'll be able to see See that? That little bump mm -hmm. there? These are nipples, so these are how they produce their milk for their young and take care of their little ones. So you know if they've got those, it's a girl, it's a female. Yeah, same sort of thing. So, uh, down at this end, you've got the bump. Oh! Oh, are we coming awake? We've got jaw Yeah, we've got jaw contractions. So we're going to get her wrapped up nice and warm and put her back in the trap now. So she can come around in a minute and and she feels safe. In. Do you want to give her one last stroke before we go? So Lily, have you decided on a name for the Pine Martin? Yeah. What are you going to call it? Lily. <laughs> my daughter, my father, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we got Woolly naming a big male Woolly, we got Lily naming a little female Lily. Perfect! <laughs> now we're just going to have to wait for it to wake up, which could be about five or so minutes, so just turn the camera off. We're hoping it's going to come up here and run up this log and over behind us. As you can see. Nice weather. <laughs> well it's like pretty good weather for our land, so. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. <laughs> At least we're not getting blown away. This is what I said. Oh it's a horrible day. I was like, you haven't been out the last four days. This is lovely. Yeah.
you happy now? Oh, that hot chocolate. Well, Lily, what do you think? It was so fun. It was. Stop eating for a sec. <laughs> How fun was that? From. 110 out of 100. 110 out of 100? <laughs> That's a pretty good review. Pretty good review. Pretty good review. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. What do you say? Stay frosty. Stay frosty. That means be cool, man. Be cool. <laughs>